Hello everyone and welcome on back for another video here on the channel. We are finally in the month of November and I have my nice new beautiful layout for the month. I am super excited to get started with it and we are going to be doing a cash envelope stuffing for today's video. So if you're interested in seeing how I'm going to budget out my paycheck then just keep on watching. All right, so today is November 5th, and if we look here on the calendar, we see I received a paycheck, and this is coming from my full-time job, so that is what we will be budgeting out today. If this happens to be your first time here stopping on the channel, hello and welcome. My name is Monet and I am 24 years old and here on this channel I deal with all things budgeting, learning how to manage your money, eliminating debt. So if any of that sounds like something you are interested in, you want to learn how to do, you enjoy watching, then please be sure to hit that subscribe button and join the family. And I have to give a shout out and thank you all for achieving yet another milestone within the channel. We have officially reached 16,000 subscribers which is just ridiculous phenomenal grateful i just truly appreciate every person that hits subscribes that watches that likes that leaves comments you guys really don't understand how much you motivate me and just uplift my days when i really need them so thank you and if you are questioning to join the family go ahead as i said hit that subscribe button and join so looking at the month of november we have some exciting things planned this month um i added a little notation here for Thanksgiving to let me know because I never know when Thanksgiving is so I wanted to put it there so I can keep that in mind but let's just look at the main event for November I am so excited to be celebrating my birthday on the 15th I know I have a lot of fellow Scorpios that are subscribers so happy birthday to us all if you are in need of a celebration and rewarding yourself like I am then this is the month to do so and we deserve it because we've been working our butts off so happy birthday to all of us and with all of the announcements out of the way let's just go ahead and get started with budgeting out the paycheck all right so we are back with our paycheck breakdown i like to use these sheets when i budget my full-time income and if you are enjoying the sheets or are interested in checking them out they are available within my etsy shop for a digital download i have november i have december so if you want to finish out your budgeting for the year I got you covered. But looking at our paycheck number one, as always, I already went ahead and wrote down all of the categories that we're going to be talking about. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in the amounts. So the first expense that I have written here, as always, is our rent. This is going to be rent that I have due on December 1st. And I like to do the split method. So I split my rent payment across both paychecks since I am paid bi-weekly. So for the first half, I'm going to put aside $610 for my rent. After that, I have gas for my car. This is another expense that I like to not take physical cash out for because I get my gas from Costco and they only accept cards. So that's going to be $40 that I am putting aside. And as of right now, those are all of the expenses that I have for this category. So if we total this up, that comes to $650. Next, we move on over to the cash section. And the first cash expense that I have is for my car insurance. This is going to be due on the 25th. And this is another one where I like to split across paychecks. So for the first half, it's going to be $100 for my car insurance. And regarding my car insurance, I will be looking for a new one because I am turning 25 this year and apparently, I mean, I don't know if it's really true, but when you turn 25, your car insurance is supposed to go lower. So I'm definitely going to be shopping around and looking to see who is going to give me the best offer. And I'm also interested in seeing if I can pay annually so that I can just do one big payment for my car insurance and I'll save up for that and pay it. So that's another thing that I'm looking into. A lot of you guys have told me that I pay a lot for car insurance. I know I'm working on it and I'm gonna try and lower the expense come the new year. So after that, we have our Great Lakes for our student loans that is due on the 26th. 
And this is another expense that we are trying to tackle and eliminate because this is my only debt. And I'm going to make the minimum payment with this paycheck. So that will be $263. And then after that, we get into the categories that I keep within my wallet. So spending is going to get the regular 40, groceries is getting 100, toiletries gets 45, clothing is getting 10, and eating out is getting 20. So if we go ahead and total all of this up, that gives us $578. Over here, I do keep a section for my sinking funds, but if you know the channel and you know me, I fund my sinking funds with my side income because I am trying to utilize my paycheck to pay off my debt and just cover my bills. So any extra money that I can make, I fund with my sinking funds and my savings. So getting into this debt that I'm talking about, of course, it's going to be Great Lakes. And after all of the bills have been paid and all of my variable expenses I took out, I have a remaining $275 that I can put towards debt. And then savings, as I said, we're leaving this blank. And then for a rollover, I'll always put $5. And that's like a little buffer or cushion that I like to keep in my account just in case little miscellaneous things come through. But as a total that I'm going to withdraw from the bank today for my envelopes, it's going to be the 578 plus the 275. So that gives us a total of $853 that we are going to cash stuff today. So there you go. As always, guys, I want to keep it simple and very straightforward. And after we have told all of our money exactly where to go, we are going to head to the bank to get the cash. And then when I come back, we'll get started and stuff our envelopes. All right, so we are back from the bank and we are ready to take out our cash and get started with our stuffing. As always, I have my little bank slip that I gave to the teller. And if you missed it, these are available within my Etsy shop. So you can just hand this to the teller, make it nice and easy, and they will give you your denominations as you would like. So now that we have our cash, I'm going to go ahead and get our setup and I'll bring you guys right on back once I'm done. All right, so we are all set and ready to go. Up at the top, as always, is where I place my cash. Within this binder is where I hold my sinking funds, my debt snowball, and my savings envelope. These are the cash envelopes that I have for my split bills, and these are my cash dividers that I keep within my wallet. So we're going to set all of this to the side and get started with our cash envelopes. So first up, we have our car insurance. Car insurance is getting $100 for the first half today. So we will just take out a $100 bill and put that right in our envelope. And that is ready. Then up next is my Great Lakes for $263. So we will do two $100 bills, a 50, a 10, and three singles. So we add all of this, we get 100, 200, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63. So 263 as a payment for my Great Lakes. So there we go. My split bills are stuffed and ready. So we will put this to the side and bring out our beautiful cash dividers that I am still obsessed with. I love these new dividers and I see that you guys are still enjoying them as well. So again, thank you so much for the people who have bought the dividers so far. So when it comes to my cash dividers, I am participating in the dollar challenge. So any dollars that I have within these categories, I set them to the side and then I add them to my dollar jar, which we will be counting up soon because we are nearing the end of the year. So we'll see how much I manage to save. All right, so getting started with our first category, we see it's spending. So spending today is going to get $40. So that's gonna be a 20, a 10, and two fives to make our 40. 20, 30, 35, 40. And if we look within spending, I do have $1 left. So I'm gonna set that to the side. 
and I like to roll over any money that I had over the previous weeks. So now as a total within my spending, I have 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65. So $65 within spending. Up next, we move along to groceries. Groceries is going to get $100 and as always, it's going to be in 20s. So five 20s will give us 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So looking at groceries, let's see if we have any dollars, which I do. And rolling over what I have now as a total, I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20. So $120 for groceries for the next two weeks. After that, we move along to toiletries. So toiletries is going to be getting $45. Two 20s and a five will give us that. 20, 40, 45. And we have a dollar as well within toiletries. Well, two dollars actually within toiletries. So we can put that over here. And now toiletries has 20, 40, 45, 50. So $50. Up next, we move along to clothing. Clothing is going to get $10. And within clothing, I don't have any singles, so we are just adding. And now I have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85. So $85 now within clothing. Up next is eating out. And eating out is going to get 20, so a $20 bill. And I only have $10 left, so adding the 20 means that I have $30 now within eating out. And then miscellaneous is empty. I just use this to deposit any money that I need back into the bank. So all of my dividers have now been stuffed. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring out my wallet and put them right back in their place. So they just fit in the back like this and there we go, our dividers are ready to go. So now we see we have our dollars and let's count and see what we saved over the past two weeks. One, two, three, four, five, six dollars that we managed to save. And we are going to bring out our lovely jar and add our six dollars to it. There we go. And then after we finish our dollar jar, we have our coin jar. So we're gonna go ahead and add all of our coins that we saved to the jar as well. All right, we're really creeping up at the tippy top for this jar. So if I run out of room, I have another jar and I'll just keep adding those until the end of the year and then I'll cash it out and see what we were able to save. But as for now, our jar is nice and full. All right, so the last thing that we are going to get into is stuffing our debt snowball that we keep within the binder. And it is empty because it's a new month and we're starting fresh. And from this paycheck, we were able to put aside 275. So that should be what is left. And we see we have 100, 250, 70, 75. So yes, 275. And that will go directly in our debt snowball. And that is that. All right, so there we have it, everyone. That is how I budgeted my first paycheck for the month of November. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to let me know down in the comments below and give this video a big thumbs up to let me know that you guys are still enjoying these type of videos and be sure to share it with anybody that you think would benefit from these videos as well. And as of today, you guys, that is all I have. So I hope you all have a beautiful weekend and I will see you all next time in my next video. Bye guys. Thank you.